guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my first haul video for 2014. Still crazy that it's like 2014 already. I had my daughter nearly four years ago, which is bizarre. So my hair is up. I did it super fast today, so it's kind of lopsided if you can if you can tell. Like kind of hanging more towards this side. But um uh it is achievable with my short hair and some extensions. Um, I'm able to get a high bun. Yes. I'm excited about that just because I love, I, I think this look is just very sleek um, and very easy to do. Perfect with a day old hair, which is hence what I have today. So um, anyway, let's just hop right into the video. Um, I am going to mention that I did go, I think sometime last week or something, I went shopping um, and picked up a couple of the new um, drugstore products that they have out, but I didn't feel like that was a substantial enough video to put that out. So I will cut that and kind of insert that part somewhere into this video. So um, you're going to go from this ding to like a completely random and casual um, Ashley Sander. I um, had come across a website that um, I forget who I saw. I think it was Christine, but she had this skirt that I was actually, I'm going to start with that, but I was so interested because I'm like, oh my God, that skirt is so, so cute. So we're going to start with that. The website is Choice. Choice. Record your inspired fashion. Choice. I hope that's how you say it. But that is uh, the website. And this is actually the skirt that I had seen a picture of her in. This is what it looks like. It's just like a really um, kind of like a high-waisted skirt. And then it just kind of um, pleats out here at the bottom. So cute. So stinking cute. I had seen a picture of ser several bloggers actually with this skirt on. And then if you go to the website, some of the articles of clothing that bloggers or vloggers have featured in videos or blogs, they will pop up with pictures. So there was an actual blogger, I think she is. Um, I don't know who she is. I've never seen her before. Like, I don't know about her blog, but she styled this skirt so cute. So if you go on the website, you can actually see um, how the blogger uh, styled a skirt like this. This was just way too cute for me to pass up. So in the back it has just like this gold detailing zipper um, to go up and down. The quality is really nice. Um, I was a little apprehensive with... Um, how do I say, like Asian brands, just because um, I have been faulted before when purchasing from an Asian brand. The one tip that I took to mind or I kept in mind when I was shopping was I made sure that I went ahead and got um, items that were featured with bloggers. They, You will have the item up top and then right down you'll see like a picture of a blogger actually using that article of clothing. So um, that is what I did and this, I'm so happy happy with this skirt. I think I'm actually going to wear it to a birthday party this weekend. So I'm going to try to do an outfit of the day using this skirt because this is just way too stinking cute. So that is the first thing that I got. The next thing is a blazer. Actually, both of these blazers are from Choice. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But I love blazers. I find that you can be super casual or you could dress it up and kind of be like a business casual or just really just amp up any outfit. So I have tons and tons of blazers. My mom is always like, do you need so many blazers? But yes, I love blazers. So this is the next one that I got. This is what it looks like. It just has this um, white uh, trim on the outside and it's just a regular blazer. This has uh, shoulder pads, which is funny because um, I had shown my mom these blazers and she's like, oh my gosh, the, the shoulder pads are coming back. And it's funny because I prefer shoulder pads now. I just feel like it looks so sophisticated. Um, whereas before I used to hate shoulder pads. Oh my gosh, I used to hate shoulder pads. Um, I just found that it made me look very super oldy. That makes sense. And usually I go for a small, but um, I got these both in a medium just because um, I can close mediums. I can't close small. So it is a little bit frumpy on me, but I kind of like it that way because I prefer to use it as more of a casual blazer than um, a more dressed up version um, of the style. So 
This is the first blazer, and then again, this is the second blazer that I got. It's just a gray. Um, it does have like a little button here where you can button. But I prefer kind of, you can like roll up your sleeves and it adds like this little detailing here. So I love, love, love blazers. So that is choice. I will actually list these items that um, I got in the description bar. If you guys are interested, feel free to go ahead and check out the website. And yeah. The next thing that I got is actually from Fabletics. I did a video featuring um, my favorite fitness stuff. This sports bra. It's like a like a greeny uh, sports bra. Very comfortable um, for lounging in the house and doing yoga and stuff like that. So it's really comfortable. Like I said, for support, it's not um, the best, but perfect for just comfort next thing is the this jacket I really love it my husband just went crazy because he loves things like this but this is perfect because it's very lightweight which this kind of helps um, just to add a layer and keep I don't know cool um, I like this dual feel or du dual texture this one is kind of like a windbreaker texture while this is actually like a fabric so that is really cool um, it does have like a drawstring down here to keep it from flying up if you do like to do inversions and stuff like that and then of course I had to represent so these are the pants that I got these are like camo, so um, of course I had to get the camo ones for my husband. These are fairly big for me, so next round I think I'm going to get an extra extra small just because my waist isn't that big, um, whereas my top also I think I'm going to go down because I got a medium in my sports bra, but I think I can go down to maybe a small or maybe even an extra small. So um, so these are the pants that I got, really, really cute and very comfortable, oh my gosh, I love them. My husband was all gaga over them, of course, too, this month. The next thing I'm going to show you are my um, shoe purchases from Just Fab this month, um, the first being this pair is really really cute um, I love the detailing it's it's stretchy straps up here so it's very easy to get on and off then again you do have your zip your zipper back here so I have so many nude pumps it's ridiculous but this is something different that I don't have my husband's like don't you have one that has a single strap which I do I'm pretty sure you can see it right there um, but this has multiple straps so very very cute these are the second pair that I got very unique I haven't seen something like this before I was a little apprehensive because I'm I don't know how I'm gonna work walk in these um, but I have worn them just around the house I can't walk far distances just because you don't really have like substantial um, hold in this actual booty or whatever you want to call it. But it's so cute on the foot, um, very sexy, very classy, very chic. Um, it goes with anything, skinnies, um, anything you want to wear. So it's very unique, very different. I don't have anything like this, so love those guys. And then lastly, I got these boots. These are, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're so comfortable and they're so warm. All inside you have like this furry feel to, to them. Here in upstate New York, these guys really come in handy. Um, we actually had just like a crazy um, weather blizzard storm or whatever you want to call it um, last week. So um, it's actually been dying down, uh, been drizzling here and there. So the snow is melting and stuff. These are very cute and I had to have them just because of this fur. It's so cute. So love these guys I had gone to the drugstore um, when was it yesterday so I got a couple things that I just wanted to share with you and then um, I just got something in the mail that I'm excited to share so first really quickly um, some of this stuff I did kind of take out of the packaging and open to kind of mess around with so I'm sorry I apologize um, if it's not all like crisp in its packaging. Anyway, so the first things, first things first is the Stay Matte uh, Liquid Mousse Foundation. I've seen a couple of people talk about this on YouTube already. Um, liquid mousse foundations actually scare me because a couple uh, mousse foundations that I have had in the past wasn't a hit for me. So um, I didn't get uh, too many colors. I usually maybe get two or three um, because obviously at my lightest, which I am now, and then um, to, to go to when I am tan. 
but I only got uh, one color, which is the 200 Soft Beige. Um, I swatched it in the store because they had a sample, and it, it would seem to be okay. So I'll let you guys know how that is after I try it. Sorry if my hair is just all over the place. I've been running errands all day today. Um, so the second thing from the Stay Matte line, I got the Stay Matte Primer. Um, and this is, um, it says you can use it alone, under makeup, or over makeup, which I've never used a primer like this over makeup. So I'll try and mess with it, see how I like it, and see how it works best. And then the last thing that I got from the line is the Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. I do have, I think, translucent on. one from um, Rimmel, but this was just one that they had on the display, so I went ahead and grabbed it. The next thing is the Revlon H Define Firming Firming Lifting Makeup, and it looks like this. It says Broad Spectrum um, SPF 15, and it does um, come, not come with, but it does um, have... A concealer that actually came out with it too but the place that I had gone to uh, was sold out so that was a bummer wasn't able to get my hands on the concealer but I am on in search for that so I will let you guys know but um, I wore this foundation yesterday and I mean for the most part I liked it I mean I really didn't pay much attention because I only wore it to church but it was pretty good um the next thing I got was the physicians formula um, concealer oh! I throw away the packaging. I'm so sorry. But it looks like this. It has like a luminous glow to it. Um, that was the whole thing and how it was advertised on the box. And plus it has like this little cute adorable bow on it. So um, super, super cute. But I've been stuck on my uh, BH Cosmetics concealer palette. So I haven't been messing around with too many concealers. So I haven't really used this um, aside from just swatching it. So, but that is that one. And then I was able to pick up three of the um, Maybelline lipstick um, from the nude collection. Um, I'm not going to swatch them because the lighting is just terrible right now. So, But the colors I did get were Espresso Expose, which is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. And then I got Bare All, number 910, and number 920 in Nude Lust. So I'll make a separate video um, about those guys maybe a little bit later. And then I got two, um, I think they're the, I think the company is called Esquito, um, but I got two um, Esquito lashes in the mail yesterday. I posted a picture of them on Instagram, and they just look like this. I will do um, a separate video on like my thoughts, and um, this is Genuine Mink Handcrafted Lashes, and these are actually my first set of mink lashes. These are the other pair that they sent me. Now for the exciting part. This is um, a box that was sent to me, actually to my parents' house because I was living in Las Vegas, but I am now in New York. So it was sent to me before Christmas, but it took my, my mom um, a couple weeks to send it. So this big box is from Sexy Hair, and they sent me this cute box. It has like, I don't know if you can see that, like, um, what do you call it? buttons no it's not buttons you guys know what I'm trying to say but um anyway so I'm just gonna go through through it really quick let you guys see what I got so the first thing is this sexy hair um, Marilyn Monroe card it just says wishing you um, a sexy holiday season it just looks like that and then it's the Sexy Hair New 450 Degree Heat Defense Collection. So that is, um, they did send me like several of these guys um, a couple months ago and I've been obsessed. You guys know that. Um, what else is in here? So I got this box. Ooh, and it has like snappy Velcro. But inside, oh! they sent me the collection it's the uh, 450 degree collection the first one is the headset um, heat defense setting spray which I really really like the second thing is the protect heat defense hot tool spray so this is kind of like um, like a heat defense uh, hairspray and then this one is kind of like a heat protector and then the last one is the heat defense blowout spray which I have yet to use it says spray on damp hair blow dry with your favorite brush for smooth shiny and frizz free hair so that is that and then oh my gosh so exciting 
And then I got the Sexy Hair Possess the Power of Sexy Blow Dryer they sent me. So that was really, really nice of them. Um, if you open it, it just looks like that. How sexy. <laughs> Convenient. How adorable is that? It just has like the sexy um, logo. It's red, very sleek, and then you have the diffuser um, over there. So that is super, super cute. I'm like compiling. And then they sent me some Like It Hot DVD, Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon. Oh my gosh, super cute to go with the uh, Marilyn Monroe, um, I guess, theme. And then last but not least, they sent me the Possess the Power of Sexy, Sexy Hair Ultimate Control. Um, what is this? Flat iron. Sexy Hair Ultimate Control, 450 degree heat, one inch professional flat iron. So that is what it looks like. And if you open it, how do you open this? Oh my gosh. Oh! Okay, well, I can't open it, So, but it looks like that. Um, so that was really, really kind of them. So thank you so much, Sexy Hair. Can't wait to um, do a video kind of featuring these products. Again, I apologize, my hair perhaps, you know, considering sexy hair. I don't really have sexy hair at the moment, but anyway, so that's my quick little haul for you. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to try to have videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So um, once I get going with that, um, maybe we'll add in a day and then we'll switch it up to maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday. At least you guys will know when to expect a video from me and when I can upload. Um, so a lot of you have mentioned that you like the uploads and my recent uploads and my frequent uploads. I had so much to catch up on and I just wanted to give you guys more videos but I'm slowly running out of ideas so if you have any ideas leave them down below. I do have a couple videos um, written down and um, in order to film for you guys so expect a video on Thursday and yeah so I love you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.